Welcome back, everyone. Now, this is your friendly reminder that Valentine's Day is less than a week away now. So we're going to help you get ready, um, and we're going to talk about treats and little cute things that you can make. Sweet Eats in Chattanooga, and I have to say she is a baker extraordinaire, so we figured she'd be perfect to help us get treats ready for Valentine's Day this morning. Thank you. Thanks for letting me be here again. No problem. So, okay, we have two different types of bouquets that we're going to be talking about this morning, and one is pretty simple. Maybe most of you have seen it before, and then another one is a little bit more more creative if we if you have a few extra minutes. So, first, let's talk about the strawberry one. The strawberry one. Um, the that I dipped and it's a, a chocolate candy coating which is easier to use than say chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. Chocolate chips if you microwave them a little bit too long they're hard to temper and make a nice coated crunchy strawberry is what everybody and longs for. You know what happens to me is uh, when I try to microwave chocolate chips they usually end up burning. Right. And then the house smells disgusting you ruin a bag of chocolate chips and yeah. So candy coating. Candy for the coating is really good and you can Mm -hmm. So th that's a neat thing to do cool. and um, just to kind of throw a little basket together um, you can just stick a few strawberries in there and then get some crinkle paper and do however many you want. It's very and simple. And in here is styrofoam? In here is a styrofoam. Uh, you can use any sort of pot or um, you know, bucket or anything that you like. Um, mm -hmm. I like this little tin container and um, that way it has something to stick in you know, cake pop sticks or skewers, whatever um, is more convenient for you, skewer into the strawberry and then stick it in, into the actual foam and um, add crinkle paper and fun Great. stuff to, to make it really easy. And then you can have that treat. cute little basket. Yeah. And who doesn't love to um, stuff their face with chocolate covered strawberries? Because you're, you're healthy at the same time. Fruit, right. You know. Yeah. It's right. a good there option. We go. So now if you're feeling a little bit more make a, a cupcake bouquet. Right, mm -hmm. and this is something that we do at Sweet Eats often uh, for special occasions. Um, this one's really cute with mini cupcakes. Oh, um, so yeah, cute. and what you do is the same as the strawberries. You get a round foam ball, put it in. I used a terracotta pot here and had a fun little Valentine's theme ribbon. And um, what you do is take toothpicks and um, stick them into and then uh, you'll actually put the cupcake on and it will hold it in place. There we go. And so you can decorate it. And now, um, what did you, how do you make the little, the leaves? The leaves are tissue paper that you cut into squares and you want to double them up and stick um, either with a skewer or um, sometimes, you know, a little uh, knife will help. And Full stick or the um, cake pop stick and tuck oh, and it just in. Stick them right in so there. So it covers up the foam and and all you do is get a, a larger um, tip and start in the center and swirl to make it look like a rose. So you can oh, just kind look of at that. yeah do that. I don't know if you want to try one, but I think I'm going to have to. It is very it's a very you know wow factor, a very simple thing of, of cupcakes that you already can you know do. And see, look, guys, even I can do it. <laughs> there we go. And the best part is if you have a chocolate lover in your life or someone who really likes cupcakes, there's about a dozen mini cupcakes on here, so uh, that person will be very pleased getting this gift. Yeah, <laughs> edible flowers. There we, we go. like that. <laughs> uh, seriously. All right, and in the next half hour, we're going to be decorating cookies and kind of show you some tips and tricks to make them look lovely and all about love. Right. All right, thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> Welcome back, and now still in the spirit of Valentine's Day, we're talking about if you feel like getting a little creative with some sugar cookies or plain cookies, we're going to give you some ideas to kind of spruce up the cookies for your loved one. And joining me again this morning is Jennifer Hooper with Sweet Eats. And uh, we've got some, these these look complicated, but, but trust me, they aren't too complicated. So she's going to teach us how to... Lovely sugar cookies right here. I don't want to, oop, there we go. Okay, so which one are we going to start with first? I think we're going to start with the little love monster. And, <laughs> and yeah, all these cookies are uh, just okay. a couple of steps. Um, what I did here was I made a sugar cookie, and you want to get it really cold before you bake it so they don't spread. So you'll have like a, a weird shape and not a heart. <laughs> yes. um, but this little guy, all I did was just put royal ice something that's called a grass tip, which has a lot of little um, 
points on it to where you can make it look like fur um, and then just Love decorate. Monster. Yeah. Um, so all you do is just squeeze and pull up so it makes him look furry. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now, um, and let's see, we'll show people that yeah. even I can do it, not yeah. just Jennifer. But I mean, he's a little furry guy, so you can just do whatever to make Kinda it look fun. Kind of reminds me of like Monsters, Inc. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now once I've done the fur. I, um, I rolled out a little bit of fondant, but you can actually use uh, fruit roll-ups to use like a little cookie cutter to make the ears. And I just had little small hearts. Little heart ears, so look at that. So you can just stick them in there wherever. And then my favorite thing is these little crazy candy <laughs> eyeballs. I mean, you and they give every little character just a unique feature. And they can look, you know, crazy or super cute oh, either way. Oh, look at that. And we have our little Valentine's Day monster. Who doesn't want that? Yeah, That's so cute. Yeah, and it's cute. so fun. All right, now, something that I really like over here, it seems like a big trend these days has been chalkboard everything. Yes. You got to paint everything with the black and write little messages on them. Right. And now we can do that for edible things as well. Yeah. And you can get a, a black royal icing and then let it dry uh, pretty pretty stiff before you start writing on it. And then there is white food coloring and you just water it down just a touch. That way you're able to get that look of chalkboard. Cool. Um, and then you can just get a little paintbrush and then do whatever you want. You can get a finer tip paintbrush to make finer little details, but it, it's a lot of fun. Just um, so this is cookies. this it, it's really it's not even frosting it's just white food coloring it's white food with water coloring. yeah it's and and it doesn't it doesn't have a taste so you're not gonna um, you know Heart. to have a better Valentine's taste Day. in your mouth there so we go it's still mm -hmm. nice and good sugar cookie and then um, another fun thing is just doing like a little crazy swirl on on a flour cookie mm -hmm. so it's super simple um, do a circle and then right. put sprinkles and, and that's just one of those quick little things a little spiral something that you can just add to regular frosting yeah and now oh, there we go and then just top it off with little hearts and there we go and now something that i think is really cool too is you used um, a heart uh, cookie cutter and you can make them into Love bugs. Little lo love bugs. Yeah. There we go. There uh, we go. Love bug ladybugs. It's bugs. really neat to just start staring at your cookie cutters and seeing what other shapes you can get out of them. Because um, why not? You already have it and utilize it. There we go. Um, and the same with these is you can do hearts, you can do polka dots and, and little, um, you know, the antennas and any kind of little face. So it's 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 really quickly. and, and Icing that it's dyed black. Boom! And look at that. Yeah. Got my love bug coming. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning and all these kind of creative ideas. That since it is probably going to be cold next weekend, what a perfect time to get with the kids or your loved one and just uh, decorate cookies decorate, yeah. and get a little bit of a sugar rush. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks, exactly. Jennifer, for joining thank us this you. morning.